Hello guys, welcome back to another Jonah Central tutorial. Now, I must first address, wow, my default cube video randomly just got 230,000 views. I'm in shock. Now, to the high percentage of you that are likely seeing this video because of that video, thank you for subscribing and thank you for continuing with my channel. I highly appreciate it and it's just, I felt like this is something that needs to be addressed because, jeez, this is big. So, you might be wondering, what are you doing today? You're not wondering that because you saw the title of the video. I'm going to be showing you how to make a mechanical arm like such from that video. So to start off, we're going to delete the default cube and we're going to add in a cylinder. Cool. Now we're going to rotate the cylinder on the x-axis. Cool. Now we're going to scale it down on the y-axis. Okay, so you might be wondering, why did we do that? What was the point of doing that? Well, you'll see. So go into edit mode and go to face select and select these four faces or if you're feeling even spicier you can rotate it on the y-axis and select these three faces. Now extrude upwards on the x-axis you can hold control to get more incremental movements but if you press S and then Z and then zero as you can see we have flattened out the curve. So if I scale this down just a bit. If I copy this, go G and then Z, as you can see we got another mechanical arm and another one. But you might be wondering how is that supposed to work? Because as you can see these, these still aren't linked. Now there is a great great thing called parenting. So it means that they kind of work together but they aren't together. Let me show you how that works. Select the top part of the arm, and then select the bottom part of the arm. Press Control P and set Parent to Object. Now, as you can see, if I rotate this, um, likely on the y-axis, it moves this top one around, but this top one stays independent and can still rotate independently. Now, if I take this one and pr hold Shift, click this one, Control P, set Parent to Object. Now, we got them all rotating. Look at that. That's so cool. Now I will admit this is a really, really ugly design, but feel free to make the arm look as different as you want. The same, you can do the exact same process except for claws as well. And um, the, the reason this works, the thing you should always make sure when doing this, is that on each rotation point, like like this cylinder for, for example, before it starts extruding outwards, the um, origin is at the very center of the cylinder so make sure that the origin is always in the center of the rotation point because for example let's say I moved the origin just a bit as you can see that illusion is broken and it doesn't look good anymore so yeah hopefully this helps out and hopefully you learned something new today thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you on the next video see you later